Turkey's president says he plans to meet with US President Donald Trump next month. Recep Tayyip Erdogan says he's hoping for stronger ties between Turkey and the US under the Trump administration. Erdogan told Al Jazeera former US President Barack Obama deceived him over an agreement between the two to fight what he described as terrorist groups operating in Turkey. We won, and Mr. Trump congratulated us for the referendum and the final vote. The most important point we discussed were about developments in Syria and Iraq. We plan to meet in May, and we will discuss things further face to face. The YPG is an arm of the PKK, and we must put an end to this. We can't destroy one terrorist group with another one. We are strategic partners with the U.S., Turkey needs to sit down with our partners and talk about ISIL. I also spoke to Putin. His views are not negative. He says if we talk, we will find a solution. From now on, the relations between Turkey and the U.S. will be stronger, and I hope Mr. Trump wants that too. We had a mutual agreement with President Obama in the past about the PKK, but Obama deceived us, and I don't believe that the Trump administration will do the same. Well, Howard Beasy is the president and CEO of the American Turkish Council, an independent business organization, and he joins me live now from Washington, D.C. Uh, Howard, a very warm welcome to the program. Um, are you expecting relations to improve? And what do you make of the general change in tone that we've seen over these past few weeks between the U.S. and Turkey? Well, first of all, thank you very much for having me, and, and it's a pleasure to be joining you to this afternoon. Uh, Yes, I think, you know, with change comes optimism and, and opportunity. And so certainly after the election this past year, here in November, uh, we've seen an increased level of optimism. There's no secret that uh, the latter year, year and a half of the Obama last term was particularly tr uh, troubling and problematic with Turkey. And in fact, ties between the two had pretty much broken off, save for the general uh, dialogue that uh, must occur to maintain diplomatic relations. Uh, and Howard, in terms of the working relationship vis-a-vis -vis Syria, how do you think that that will develop and, and move forward between the U.S. and Turkey? Well, again, uh, with the change in administration, President Trump ordered a full review of our strategy in the region, and particularly as it relates to Syria. We've seen a number of back-and-forth engagements between uh, the defense ministers uh, and defense secretary Mattis, uh, certainly the chief of the defense there in Turkey and General Dumford here have been engaged closely and I know the staffs on both sides continue to work very closely there. We've certainly, uh, I think, added some uh, teeth to our policy uh, in uh, Syria and shown uh, through recent actions by the Trump administration that we're willing to commit a little bit more of U.S. military power uh, where necessary uh, to bring an end to uh, ISIL and uh, hopefully stabilize this region uh, in Syria and Iraq. And Howard, um, there are talks that President Erdogan is going to come to the U.S. in May. How might that strengthen dialogue and the relationship, of course, between the two countries? Well, of course, the dialogue is incredibly important between the United States and Turkey. And just the fact that the two presidents have had several conversations, President Trump has offered his uh, congratulations on the recent uh, referendum that we saw this past weekend. Just that creates a fertile playing field, so to speak, for uh, increased uh, cooperation, dialogue on a number of fronts. And my organization is a, is a business council. We're focused on economic and investment relations. And in fact, May, we think, is a great opportunity for the president to come. Uh, we think it's time that the two presidents have a face-to-face -face meeting. And later that month, we'll be hosting here in Washington the 36th Annual Conference on U.S.-Turkey relations, uh, at which we'll talk about everything from diplomatic and political relations, economic and investment, and strategic and military. Howard Beasy there joining me live from Washington, D.C. Howard, thank you. Thank you.